Hi, I'm Charles. I'm a fourth year medical student. Today, I just wanted to do a quick update on which subjects you guys need to pick if you want to study medicine at university. You've been on my mind like it's payday. I know they're not fat. I don't care what they say. Go. Hello, I'm Charles. I'm a fourth year medical student and I just wanted to make a video updating on A-level subject choices that you need to pick if you want to study medicine. I've been getting a lot of questions on this subject area and I thought I'd make a very simplified video answering those questions in one. So first and foremost, when it comes to subjects, you really want to start first and foremost picking your sciences. Out of your sciences, the options that you're going to have are biology, chemistry and physics. Now out of those, I would definitely say chemistry is one that is a must have. About 87% of schools require chemistry as something that is needed to be there before your application can progress any further. Biology is the second one that I would also recommend for you to take. So for me, it's a non-brainer that you need chemistry, definitely, and biology as well if you want to study medicine. Now, biology sometimes can be replaced with human biology, but this is subject to the school. But as far as general consensus goes, biology is the one that you need to have and chemistry. For your third A-level choice, things can be a little bit more flexible. So you can either pick from a science, from a humanities or from an arts. So from sciences, I'm talking about physics, you can pick from maths. For humanities, you can pick something like philosophy, sociology, you can even pick economics, which is in between both the science and humanities. And for arts, you can pick something like music. Those are the subjects that I would stick for for your third one. And I would say out of those three categories, it's best to go with the one that you enjoy the most. There's no point picking one that you're going to hate and that's going to torture you. Pick the one that you enjoy the most. If you're doing only three A levels, I would say definitely avoid critical thinking and avoid general studies as your third choice. These, in most universities, they would say they don't consider these as a suitable third choice for studying medicine. So personally, to keep it simple, I would keep away from those if you're doing three A-levels. And further math sometimes has some issues. It's not really considered as an additional A-level by some unis if you're really doing maths. B-techs are not usually considered on par with A-levels or as full A-levels for that matter. So if you have the choice, I would stay away from those if you can. So just to recap, biology, chemistry, musts. For your third choice, you want to pick from humanities, arts, and sciences. Now moving on to grades, most schools in general require grades of AAA. Some of you might be fortunate to get offers of AAB, which is a very few select few, a very few schools offer that and a very few will get that. So usually you're aiming at AAA. Some schools on the other hand are aiming for A star AA. Now some of these schools that require A star AA are Birmingham, Cambridge and Lancaster. Lancaster has a sort of a spectrum, but Birmingham and Cambridge definitely A star AA if you want to apply to these schools. Some of you have not done A levels or you've done subjects which are might be deemed not suitable for the application by the normal route. So you haven't done your chemistry, your biology, there's no sciences. So you might be thinking of, oh, what can I do? Is there another way for me to get into this? Alternative ways to get into medicine are via foundation programs. Now foundation programs are done by schools like Southampton, Sheffield, Nottingham, Manchester, Keele, East Anglia, Newcastle, Dundee and Cardiff University. The way foundation your program work from my understanding is it's usually based on location, whether you've been disadvantaged, whether you've had free school meals, something that predisposes you to not have had an equal opportunity and then they allow you to study a foundation year. So this is an additional year to the five years usually where you go through the science knowledge that you should have had prior to starting the course and then they equip you with that knowledge. As far as I'm concerned, ones that I've come across that I know of well are Southampton, um, it's a very good program. Other ones I know of are Nottingham University and even Newcastle where I'm currently studying they do one for the local area so make sure you research about foundation programs you need to understand the requirements of what those programs are before you apply because they're not usually eligible for everybody it's only a select few or certain target group that they're trying to focus on and trying to give them um, better participation rates into medicine that might not usually get an opportunity to study medicine if you have any further questions relating to any of this please leave a comment down below if you have any suggestion any topic areas you want me to cover please Leave a comment down below and let me know. Thank you. Oh, replay, replay on my mind again. Mommy seven six couldn't have my love.